back at Balboa Park in San Diego, which has museums, multiple performing art venues, gardens, a whole lot more. This day we decided to check out the Spreckles Outdoor Organ, which is the largest outdoor organ in the world. It was built in 1914 for the 1915 Panama, California International Exposition. The architectural design is just so cool. It has over 5,000 pipes, and every Sunday afternoon they actually offer free concerts. But for some reason or another, we just weren't able to coordinate it. I'd really love to see that. So then we headed over to the California Tower Building, which you can see in the distance. And this houses the San Diego Museum of Man, which is an intriguing name because it's just such a broad subject. We found that it has all kinds of cultural exhibits from different monsters and mythical creatures from around the world. Um, there is a beer history exhibiting the, and featuring 10,000 years of beer history and brewing practices. And there's also one on relationships with animals. And then there's the Post Secret. The Post Secret is a community art project that was supposed to last for just a year, but it's been actually going on for over a decade. Millions of people from all over the world have been anonymously sharing their secrets with Frank Warren, who's the founder of the community art project. Post Secret has unique work of art on a postcard that are handmade by people who needed to share and release their secret into the world. Some are hilarious and others are really pretty dark. So if you feel the need to tell someone your secret, you can put it on a decorated postcard and just mail it to the Museum of Man. You can see there's quite a collection. <laughs> That's pretty good. Then there's the one-of-a-kind exhibit which showed us that cannibals aren't who we thought they are. Okay. I like ribs, and I like chuck roast, but I have to admit that during this time period, I'm thinking I would be a vegetarian. Quoting the exhibit curator who said, one of the things we really wanted to do with this exhibit is to ask visitors to step into the shoes of people who are faced with real difficult decisions and to make people think. Given the same circumstance, would they make the same choices? Can I empathize with that person? Do I understand that what happened? So the curator is talking about those who are in shipwrecked or plane crashes in mountains or at war with no food around, could you do it? Then there's the medicinal beliefs at one well, time. We discovered here that apparently back in the cannibal days there, they had their own computer to be able to figure out which RX would solve their ills. So they had different ingredients here, powdered human flesh, skull moss, mummy dust, Human fat, fresh blood. I've got things wrong with me. Let's see if we can figure out which remedy the computer will come up with. So the first one is how old are you? 60 plus in the computer, locked in. Have you recently had butt pain? I'm certainly not going to admit that on camera. Been in battle, been in a bar fight, felt the weather in your bones, yes. Are you anxious, prone to violence, clumsy, in pain, prone to wrinkles? Only when I stay in the hot tub too much, I'm going with pain. Did you get indigestion, into bar fights, nosebleeds, arthritis, liver spots? I'm going with arthritis. At work, do you get stressed, use sharp objects, operate machinery, or sit still? Or, or feel, feel old. I'm still going with sit still. So, according to the instructions of the computer, you slide the knobs, you add up the numbers. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 16, and 5, 21. I need human fat. Ew. So let's look at the human fat. There it is. That's what it looks like. Mm. And all I have to do is take my prescription here. What do you do? I go, I go to the doctor. 
and I put my name in here, and I'm going to get some human fat. Rub it on affected areas. Yep. Let's go. So now we're off to the California Tower Tour. The tower was actually closed to the public for nearly 80 years. The two top open areas are not open to the public because they're just too small to handle a, a group. So we were on the third level down. The tower finally opened for public tours in January of 2015, just in time for the centennial celebration. There are noontime mini concerts that come from the bell tower, which actually doesn't really have bells. The sounds come from an electronic keyboard that plays a set of small stationary chimes. The tunes are usually pre-recorded and amplified a few million times and projected through the, the tower's waterproof speakers. It's an amazing sound to hear. We were told that the first three months when the tower was open, the tours were packed with pretty much only people from the area, just because they had been waiting so long to get into the tower. I didn't blame them. So this is facing east from the tower that we're in that was built for the 1915 San Diego Pan American Exposition. What a great view. The weather is perfect today. So this is the south facing view from the tower and this is the side where the airplanes are constantly coming in I don't see one now I intentionally picked a time when there wasn't one this is the western facing view from the top of the tower. If you wait long enough, there's planes landing way off in the distance continually all day long, right where the bay is. This bridge here is one of the remaining original bridges from the exposition. Only three or four structures actually remained and that's one of them. So this is the northern view and it's not quite as picturesque. Here it actually goes up higher. Mm -hmm. 